Let's record this. Let's turn this one on. Go to do, guys. Let's uh, hop into the chat. Let's see what y'all are saying. Going to the zoo. This guy said he's going to the zoo. <laughs> Aiden, you're sick. <laughs> Starving. Oh no, go eat. Cook me a breakfast. Amazing. Did gym workout this morning. Okay, bless. I see you, sis. <laughs> Robinson, what y'all want? Are you cooking? Let me know. I'll pull up. Okay, okay, okay. Three days off. Blessings. Okay, fam. Let's see you guys. So we here. We locked you loaded. Y'all ready? You feeling good? He said pull up. <laughs> I might just have to. So, all right. All right, guys. Um, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna play with it. I'm gonna get into it. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Eleven oh seven. How many people we got on right now? We got twelve of you guys on the call. Twelve of us on the call. Blessings to each and every one of you for being here, for showing up, for uh, uh, you know, putting yourself in front of the information, putting yourself in the environment so that you could acquire the information. Let's fix this. This is probably some glares. Um, and not, not only just putting yourself in front of the information, but, you know, this uh, understanding that this is, this is that specific, uh, that specific learning, that, that specific, uh, tripping over my words. This is the stuff that you need. <laughs> there we go. These are the, these are the gems that you need to grow. These are the gems that are going to help you, uh, move forward, level up. These are, these are the, the little tips and keys and tools and everything that you need for your little tool case, specialized knowledge. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> but for your, uh, for your tool case, so that when you go and you're on your mission or whatever the case is, and you're ready to start building, you're ready to start putting uh, forward the information to actually, you know, grow your structure, build your home foundation, whatever the case is. You have everything that you need. You have all the necessary information. You have all the necessary tools, the resources. You know what to reach. You know where to go for them. Um, you know who to who to call up, you know who uh, who to ask for questions, you know where to go to look for big, everything. You will have it all. But I need you guys to understand, for you to really have it and internalize it, you have to understand who you are. You have to understand your value. You have to understand your work. And you have to own it. You have to own your success. You have to own your business. You have to own whatever it is that you're doing so that you can have that confidence to continue to rain that down on people to come or whoever crosses your path right? You have to uh, have that confidence to say, you know what, I'm in this space. I'm blessed to be in this space because this is a very limited type of space, right? I know that there are people who, who are dreaming and praying for, for something like this, but don't actually get it just because they have the lack of resources. We are here right now. We are in this space. We have the resources. We have the information and everything. So now it's time to, to own it. Now it's time to really internalize everything and understand who you are and how valuable you truly are, not only to this space, but to your life and to the lives of people around you. You have to understand that you hold a key that is literally gonna set you free and a lot of other people free as well. So ask yourself and say like, okay, cool. I'm here within this space. I'm learning this skill. Cool, I'm here to make some money. Less, we're all here to do that. But after you make the money, what's next, right? As Mel had said on her call uh, yesterday, She's always looking for the next best thing. She's always looking to, to, like, when she reaches that goal, she's looking for, okay, what's the next thing that I can accomplish now? What's the next thing that I can do now, right? And it's the same thing, the same thing that we have to do when we're, when we're looking to set goals and we're looking to actually uh, accomplish them. Um, we have to plan ahead. We talked about planning yesterday and being able to actually structure out your life, structure out the things that you want to do, um, how you're going to get things done. Um, you know, what steps are you going to take to get there, right? And I was on a call this morning with Neno where he talked about uh, goals again. I'm not going to go too, too deep into it, um, but he also talked about like systems, right? What is the system that you have in place that's going to allow you to get to that goal and not only just get to that goal, but to continue to cycle it over and over and over again. So you can continue to see success over and over and over again. You're not just here to hit it once and then boom, be done. You want to be able to uh, duplicate it and recreate it over and over. And you have that in place. You have that machine in place. You have that, that system that's going to hold you uh, uh, to, to all of the, the little the, the, the mind maps and then the blueprints or whatever it takes or whatever steps, laws, rules to help you gain that success. All right. Um, but before you can place systems into your business or place it into 
um, anything on the outside, you have to have your own system. And that's what I want to speak on real quick. You have to have, uh, you know, yourself on a set schedule. You have to be able to put yourself in a, in a position in a situation where um, you have control over your life. You got to be able to control what you can control first before you try to control other things that you can't control, right? So you got to be able to say, all right, cool. Am I waking up on time? Or maybe if I'm waking up um, at a certain time, maybe I need to wake up an hour earlier so I can get some more things done. Maybe you need to wake up and change your, your morning routine so that you can get yourself into a better spirit, get yourself into a, uh, a different light that's gonna, gonna give you that energy to really run through your day, right? Um, so one of, uh, this is what Nano follows. He, call, he calls it SAVERS, it's a system SAVERS. Um, it stands for silence, uh, which is basically like your meditation. You're, you're, you are, I'm gonna read through it first. Silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and uh, scribing, which is basically like your journal entries, right? So when it comes to silence now, you wanna meditate. You wanna really just take a minute to give thanks Take a minute to just process where you are, uh, to be one with your body, to just to just feel and to just hear and to just be aware of your surroundings, be aware of your environment, be aware of how your body is feeling, um, and understand what needs to be tended to, what needs to not be tended to, or whatever the case is. What can use um, a little bit more in-depth process processing with like thoughts and like you know stretching or whatever the case is. Um, but you just want to be just want to be still. Just be still and just just be calm in, 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 the, in the space that you're in, right? Uh, the next thing is your affirmations, right? You're waking up every day saying, I am so happy and grateful now that, you know, by the end of the year, we will have multiple churning within this business or whatever the case is. I'm so happy and grateful now that by the end of the summer, I have paid off all my debt, right? Everything that, everything that uh, you want done or everything that you want to claim over your life or put into the earth, whatever energies that you want to put out there, this is where you talk about all your affirmations. This is where you, you speak it into existence. So now you're putting the energy into the earth and now you're hearing it back so that it re -res -res resonates with you. You're, you're planting the seeds, right? You plant the seeds and we water the seeds. We're continuously watering your seeds by repetition, by hearing it over and over again, uh, uh, by speaking it, by writing it down, whatever the case is, right? So your affirmations. And then you have the visualize visualization. This is where you are now mentally rehearsing. This is now where we take that time to just close our eyes and just think about where we want to be, what we want to do, what we want to get done, what we want to have, and just literally mentally rehearse you in the future, right? Understand that here is always going to be here. We are where we are supposed to be. The only difference between us and here now and the future is the time, right? The time in between is going to take us there, quote, unquote. But here is it, we're already here, <laughs> right? So understand that when you're visualizing, you want to start to unlock that picture in the future. You want to start to unlock that spiritual self. Um, everything that you you want to be, everything that you want to become, you want to start to unlock those things and make it a make it a clear path. And if it's not even something that you can want for yourself, start to unlock the things that you want to do for others. Start to unlock the things uh, that you want to have or whatever the case is, right? Uh, but just just start to feel the environment. You don't have to do it down to the to the nitty gritty. It's better, it's best if you do, but just start with the environment because I know sometimes we can't always picture where it is that we want and where we want to go. I know there's sometimes I close my eyes and I'm like, okay, I want to be here, here, and here, but the picture's not coming to me until I constantly over and over and over mentally rehearse it, visualize it, right? And, and really paint that picture in my head so that I know what I'm looking for. I know what, the type of life that I want to live. I know the type of things that I want to see happen in my life, right? Uh, you could also draw or have a vision board. Right? If you've created a vision board or like a vision environment, you want to place yourself in that and just and just look at the things that you have written down or look at the pictures that you have on your vision board. So now you are looking at your goals in front of you. You are looking at all the things that you want to possess literally in front of you in, 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 a, in a physical sense or in, in verbal writing or whatever the case is. Right. You just want to make sure that you have it within uh, your, your sight. Because, again, you heard the saying out of sight, out of mind. Right. So if you're not seeing it constantly if you're not uh planning for it or picturing it do you do you really know what it is that you want are you really seeing it are you really visualizing it in your mind are you really able to keep that thought there right this is why we write down our goals uh this is why we go and review our goals multiple times a day or, or sorry multiple times a week um this is why we should have a goal card at least for the day our ultimate goal should be on a goal card but we should have a goal for the day right um because if you're not seeing it then are you really going to follow through with it? Are you really going to pick yourself up and actually do it and get it done? Right? Because I can say, oh, I want to do this, this, and this today. But if I'm not seeing it in front of my face to say, check this off my list, check that off my list, 
do am I really gonna hold myself to, to the fact that I need to get these things done? Not all the time. Things get in the way. Things happen, right? So it's best to have that literally in front of your face because sometimes you forget it slips your mind. But then you go back to your workspace, you sit down and you see your goals in front of you or whatever the case is. You see your goals sitting in front of you then it's like, oh yeah, I have to do this today so I can't go to sleep yet. Oh yeah, I have to do that today so I can't relax yet. Or I can't sit down yet. I can't take a break yet because there's still some things on my list I need to get done just for today. Just for today. Guys, we are six months six months into 2020 we are halfway through the year already what a year it's been understand that this is the year of change though a lot of things are happening a lot of things are shifting a lot of things are, are becoming apparent and now people have to change the the systems that they were sitting in change the, the lives that they were following or the blueprints that they were following because they realize it's not as secure as it may seem right it's not okay to just sit and not continue to learn it's not okay to just sit and not continue to change right you will end up getting trapped over by your own future you want to make sure that you are putting that best foot forward to say hey i'm here with it every single day i'm going to use the best of my time today i'm going to get one percent better every single day um and we're going to keep it pushing right i totally went on a tangent there my fault i'll make it back to it so that's visualization the next one is exercise right you want to get yourself physically active okay let me see my notification so right now um now you want to get physically active every single day, right? Whether it's literally just stretching or whether you're going uh, for some cardio, you're going on a run, on a walk, or whatever the case is, uh, whether you are, um, whatever the case is, exercise. <laughs> whether you're dancing, you want to have a dance party, boom, let's do it. Just exercise. Get your heart rate going. Get, get the juices flowing. Get yourself up and ready to actually, you know, tackle some of the tasks during the day. Because once you exercise, your body feels refreshed. Your body feels rejuvenated. Your body feels like, okay, cool. So you had me up. You had me moving. Like, my energy levels are high now. Now, um, even if, let's just say it's to a point where you've uh, overexerted yourself or you've exercised to the point where you've burnt out and you're dead tired. Cool. You take a quick nap or you go shower and whatever the case is and when you wake back up your body is still going to feel like hey we exercise today what's next on the list right we we, we were we're now in touch with our bodies the the our, our spiritual beings and our souls or whatever the case is now is now it's now become one you're, you're paying attention to what hurts what doesn't hurt you're paying attention to your range of motion you're paying attention to uh, um just your different abilities physically right um, i have a goal personally that where i'm i aim to really be so in touch with my body by the end of the year that i have no restrictions i have no physical restrictions when it comes to um, range of motion and things like that that's one of my goals right because i understand that i will not abuse i will not be a slave to my body right i'm going to command my body to do what i want it to do so i'm going to make sure that every day i'm stretching every day i'm exercising every day i'm putting i'm giving i'm giving my my body that that like energy boost that it needs that that charge that it needs so that i can continuously move throughout my day effectively right next thing is reading what are you reading what are you looking at what information are you taking in right you want to make sure that you are are aware of such information you want to make sure that you're reading different books that are going to help you grow you want to make sure that you're reading different books that are going to help you whether it's uh, uh with leadership or whether it's with your business um whatever the case is you want to be reading just just read just read the not like knowledge is power right so you want to make sure that you're you're educating yourself every single day you're stretching your mind every single day right remember your mind is like a uh sorry your brain is like a t-shirt right where you continue to overstretch it it'll never shrink back to its original size so you want to continue to stretch and stretch and overstretch every single time so now uh not only are you learning new knowledge right because once you learn it you can't unlearn it it's there in your subconscious way deep somewhere right so now once you once you've uh, uh learned it now you've just added another thing to your list and you've just added another thing to your list and you keep adding it, adding it, adding it. And it, next thing you know, you know, you know so much stuff you didn't even realize that you knew. You've put yourself in, in so many different situations and environments where you've read information all over the place of how to be a better you, of, of how to be an entrepreneur, of, of how to be this and how to do that, and blah, 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 blah. Where now you are your own computer. Wow, now that I say that, back when I was in elementary school, um, I had a uh, African dance drummer teacher uh, for one of our classes and I used to take private classes with him outside of school as well 
Um, his name was, 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 uh, oh my gosh, Kofi? One of those ones, somewhere there. Um, and he said, your mind is your natural computer. Your, your mind is where you store all of your information. Your mind is like that digital chip that you put in, because back then it was, there was still like the, the chips that you put in the computer and whatever. He's like, your mind is a digital chip that you have um, that holds all the information that you learn, that holds all of the knowledge that you've acquired. Quasi, there we go, quasi, thank you. <laughs> um, that holds all the, the information in your mind that you've learned, that, that holds everything um, so that when time comes for you to go and remember it or bring it back, you, you, you have it. It's there already. You don't need to memorize it. You don't need to know it off the top of your head, right? But when the time comes for it, it's going to come out because you know it, right? Um, so he always says, just make sure to feed your mind with, with, with the proper things, the proper uh, knowledge, um, because at the end of the day, that creates who you are. That is, this is your library. What kind of books do you have in your library? What kind of information do you have stored up here, right? Um, the last thing is scribing, which is, which is like journal, journal entries, right? Um, write your thoughts down, family. Write your thoughts down. Because, yes, you may have everything up here, right? You may have everything up here, but understand that a lot of the times we always say we have 70,000 thoughts in a day. Only about three to 5,000 of those are thoughts uh, that we can, that actually come to our attention during the day right and how many times are you saying something or me specifically i know i'll be saying something in a mid-sentence i forget what i was talking about like what was i just talking about somebody to remind me please right write down your thoughts especially the, especially the times where you get these like crazy wicked ideas and you have a thought and you and you just want to uh, uh you want you want to speak on it or capitalize off it and it's a great idea but you don't write it down and then later on when you go back to think about what it is you can't remember what it is write it down write your day down process what it is that you're doing throughout your day right um speak to yourself in your journal this is your journal this is supposed to be your thoughts right because you can't go back yesterday and the day before and the week before and the month before and remember those thoughts that you had on this day at this time right no write it down write down your process and then that way you can track your mindset you can track your growth you can track your thought process you can track and see okay how was how was my mindset set up back then what was I thinking about back then? What were the things that I were doing back then versus now? How am I thinking? How am I speaking? How am I acting? What are the thoughts that are running through my head? Have I actually accomplished anything that I've written down? Have I accomplished any of, of the ideas or the goals that I had or whatever the case uh, uh, written down in the past week, two weeks, month, years, however long, right? Um, so keeping a journal is definitely going to, I'm going to start doing that a little bit more often, uh, keeping your journal with that to keep track of your thoughts and actually see it in plain sight is also going to help you remember it even more. It's going to help you uh, bring it back to, to, to clarity whenever time comes to fish for that information. But like I said, um, that's all in terms of your personal system. Like what, you know, what are some things that you can do to help your routine, help your mood, um, you know, bring some clarity to your life, bring some structure into your life, right? Silence affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing. Okay, family? So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to pass it off, pass it off to Marlon, P150 Marlon. Take us to church, Marlon. <laughs> he's uh, he's going to come and drop some gems for you guys. You already know how he's coming. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. I appreciate you all. Marlon, I appreciate you for doing this call with me today. Um, so you know what we do. I'm a swing you host. Where you at? Where you at? Here you go. You with me? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Go ahead. What's up? Good morning, mama. You want to say hey to the team? You want to say hey to the team? Hello, team. <laughs> hey, man. Morning. So we got about what? Let me see. Let me see. We got about 14 people on the call. That's what's up. Solid 14, 15 every day. I love it. I love you. All uh, right. Hey, um, shout out to Reese. Thank you for getting with me on this morning. Um, luckily, I, when I agreed to this call, I, I was like, okay, I don't know what I'm going to talk about this morning. I didn't know, but I, I 
Something came to me, which just went to thumping in my head, and I just felt like I had to get it off my chest. Had to get it off my chest. So, um, real quick, y'all, I want y'all to take take a moment, real quick. Just just gather yourself, consolidate your thoughts, because I want I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you one question, and I want you to answer it to yourself. Right? Take let me give y'all a second to consolidate. Right? Get get ready, cause it's, it's gonna be a really good question. Really good question. We all in this space. We all hungry. We all starving, right? But what I want to ask you specifically, you, I'm talking to you, where's the beast? Where's the beast? Answer that for yourself real quick. Where is it? A lot of us, many of us, including me, we talk the talk, and we walk the walk, but we'll, we'll, we'll walk it a little bit. We'll, 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 we'll take a couple steps and then retract. You know, we'll get hyped for the moment, we'll backpedal. We'll, we'll let that, we'll let our passion outpace our patience, right? So you gotta ask yourself, where that beast at? I want, I want y'all, I want y'all to think like, hey, how many, think about something, how many cats y'all see walk around with? Lion tats on and, 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 and all these, all, all these, you know what I'm saying, sickness, uh, signals on them and little symbols, you know, basically alluding to the fact that they, they want it, they hungry, right? Got a, got a lion in their profile picture, got a, got a good caption on the little photos, you know, that, that talk about, that talk about it. We, we, we'll talk about it. How many of us actually hungry though? How many of us are actually hungry? How many of us are starving? How many of us actually want it? Because just, and I'm gonna be honest, I have days, man, where I, where I feel it. And I have too many more days where I don't. So I got some work to do. But it's, this is, for, this is we supposed to grow together. We supposed to go through these processes together. Like, you know what I'm saying? So where's the beast at? Where's that lion at? If you, if you, is you a prey or is you a predator? That's what you, that's what we here to create. We know, we're not, we're not finna be you no know, subservient as extremely humble, you know, passive as in, in individuals. That's not what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? We're here to give ourselves a voice. We're here to give ourselves influence, power, respect, because that's what we want at the end of the day. There's not one person in this, in, on this call, in this world, that, 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 that wouldn't want some power in some way, shape, or form. You feel me? Thing, things are happening and things are unfolding. A lot of, a lot of shit is happening, it's going down, right? You got, you, you, you either gonna be the prey or you're gonna be the predator, right? Everything starts going on, everything starts falling apart and the first thing you wanna do is what? Hold on, you praying too much. You praying too much. How you, how you praying so much and you supposed to be a predator? You feel me? How, how you how you just putting these hands together and you ain't putting no work in? But you put y'all on song I, I I seen earlier uh, doing some research about 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 a lion, right? A lion will never a lion will look at a wounded animal, wounded prey. They don't want it. They want to attack it. Fact check. A lion will see a gazelle limping. Won't touch it. Why? Lions are tactical. It's the thrill of the hunt. It's the thrill of the chase. It's the process. It's that sitting in the grass, laying low, being observed, watching, waiting for the precise moment. Signals, hey, you got that way, you got that way. Bring them around here. Cause when you, you circle, circle, circle them, bring them over here, boom. They right here in front of me, I'm pouncing on them, I'm there. It's a process. There's a plan. There's there's a, there's a collective, right? The lion doesn't. The lion don't want it easy. For what? What's the point? Ain't no thrill of the hunt. Ain't no thrill of the hunt. Put y'all on game. A lion is the king of the jungle, right? A lion is the king of the jungle. The lion is not the fastest. That's the cheetah. It's not the strongest. That's the tiger. But guess what? 
it still got that title of king. Why? It's the mindset. It's not, a, a, a lion don't look at, look at nothing. It don't look at not one thing and think, I can't eat that. They think about how, how I'm gonna eat it. Elephant, too damn big. Giraffe, too damn big. How are we gonna bring it down? What are we gonna do, nip at the ankles? It's going, it, a lion's gonna get right and do what it gotta do in order to get, <laughs> in order to get what they need, in order to get what they want, because they want it. That's how we need to be. We don't need to be, looking at situations and things that's happening for us and think, damn, I need to start praying. Oh, 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 oh God, oh God, what am I gonna do? Figure it out. What are you not gonna do? What are you not gonna do to get the way you wanna go? Hmm? You gonna, you gonna sit back and, and, and let, and let the, your own mental challenges, you know, prohibit you from truly embracing what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to look at every situation, every moment, Every, no matter how big or small, as something that you can't accomplish. Because while, while, while all the other animals who want to be king of the jungle, watching you, looking, looking at the elephant or the giraffe or whatever, it's oversized hippo. I done seen lions get at hippos too. It ain't really work, but that, they don't care about that. What they care about is, I'm going to try this shit. Excuse my language. We're going to get to it and we're going to get dirty. We're going to get in the nick grip. It's, it's, wild. it's the wildlife out here, baby. I get active, little baby. They they don't come. They don't come second hand. They don't. Nah, they're not with the lackey stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be around nothing but lions. Crazy if I'm finna chill around with some sheep. Crazy if I'm gonna chill around the gazelle. Graceful, moving, fluid, cool, 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 cool. Whatever dominion I'm in, I expect to be at the top of that. I expect to be at the top of every food chain I'm in, no matter what environment I get placed in, because that's how I view myself. So no matter what goals you put in front of me. I'm going to sit until I get it right. Gold be kicking my ass. Marlon, leave gold alone. I just might. You know what? I just might. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all don't, y'all don't know why. Y'all don't, y'all don't understand why I just can't let it go now. It's too late. It's too late for me to try to not work with gold. Why? Because I set that forth for myself. I don't know how long it's going to take me. But I know sooner or later, hopefully sooner than later, I'm going to have gold by the leash. Come here. Come here. Where you going? Right here, right under my thumb, right here. I control that, I got that, soon or later. Don't know when, don't know, I know how, I know it's gonna happen though. That faith is bigger than the mustard seed at this point. I, I'm starting to see, you know, some, 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 some plants bro. Thank you to my team, I'm starting to see some changes. Starting to really get, really get into that groove. Don't, 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 don't look at nothing, you don't, don't speak on nothing that you don't already spoke on or what you wanted to do and backtrack. You, you don't need that. We don't need that. The team don't need that. The people around you don't need that. They need you to have that lion mindset. Because if you don't, if you sitting in this space and you got a sheep mindset, how? How? You, now you already not, not that pressure on your chest. Because now you're living, you living, living in, a, in, a, in a state of dissonance. Because you, you, you want it. And you put, in your, put yourself in position to want it. And then when everything starts coming at you, hmm? Everything start coming at you. You, 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 back, you buckle it down. Why? You asked for this. Nano said it on his call this morning. Don't ask to eat and then get mad when you got a lot on your plate. That don't make sense. You asked for it. So then you better treat, you better treat this situation, you better treat every situation like it's a buffet. It's a all you can eat. When you out there in, that, in the wildlife, there's plenty of prey out there. Why? Because there's plenty of people that don't got the mindsets we got. There's plenty of people out there ready to be sheep ready to be zebras, living in the black and white. So you gotta make sure that you, gonna, you, you, coming, you coming with it and move with it, act with it, think like it. Whatever the mean, matter, get, matter of fact, we gonna, we gonna leave, we gonna leave, we gonna leave the ground, we gonna go into the air. Birds, put y'all on the game. Y'all know why the eagle is the, is the, is the, is the, American, uh, is the American bird? It has kingship over its dominion. He was probably the largest flying bird, and it hunts. I don't know the wingspan, so don't quote me on no facts. I'm not really too good with fun facts, you know what I'm saying? I'm a specialized, not this type of individual. But eagles don't fuck off, excuse my language. You, you're not gonna look at an eagle and think, oh, hey, 
what's that caption that went to go around for a little bit? I'd rather I'd rather eat the crumbs. I'd rather eat crumbs of greatness than have a plate of mediocrity. That's cool. Pigeons eat crumbs. You feel me? Pigeons eat. I, I'm, I'm, I don't rather anything. I'm not finna settle for nothing. I'm not here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in no pigeon crew. I'm not finna come flop with a, with a bunch of people. Ain't, uh, you don't see no eagle flying with another eagle. You won't. Why? They're in their own class. Put yourself in your own class. Move like you're in your own, in your own realm. Right? That's that uniqueness, knowing your value, having your confidence. You don't catch no eagles flocking together. The pigeons do. Ducks do. Duck, duck, goose. You feel me? Who you going to choose? Somebody got to get got. What we, what we going to talk about? Matter of fact, I don't know. Some of y'all got me on, on, on Instagram. So y'all see some of, some of my content I put out. Um, Growing up, <laughs> one of my favorite animals was was the was the orca, was the killer whale. And I'm writing this verse probably about a month ago. I wrote this verse, and I'm just finding like different words rhyme together. And then when I when the word orca came to me, I was like, I was like, ooh, that's that's so saucy, right? So what he say? He say, um, he say, swimming with the sharks, but damn, I feel like an orca now. I, I sleep on how hard that bar is. I sleep, I sleep on it. So I know y'all sleep on it. Why? Because personally, swimming with the sharks, I ain't never been scared of it. I ain't never been scared to put myself into the ring with the big wigs. I haven't. But see, a lot of times I feel like Marlon. I feel like Marlon swimming with the sharks. You know, y'all see me find an emo. You know, he's trying, he trying to be cool. He, he you know, he, he, he is big. I mean, he's he trying to make moves, he's making friends. He, you know what I'm saying? Doing this pit pat and this, that, and third, and then boom. Until he go wrong, he, he, hey, he, by the, by the, by the whim of his luck, by the rim of his seat, he got off. The, the mines were getting set off, and the sharks ain't get him. You feel me? Like, oh, they turned, they turned prey on him. They, they turned into the predators on him, even though they were screaming. Fish our friends, not food. That didn't work out for Marlon back then. You feel me? Got to change your mindset. Tell you something about uh, sharks, top of the food chain in the ocean, right? They don't even look at killer whales. Well. Tell you how raw killer whales is, because they know the same way that you know we put that we put that butter and that salt, you know what I'm saying, all that juicy stuff and, and certain foods that we eat to, to get that to get that flavor and get the most nutrients out of it. You know, I was looking up some so was some articles on killer whales and, and these uh and there's not a lot of research on them because you know they, they with the depths of the ocean that they swim and how far out they go. Not too many researchers be out there, but the coast is like South Africa. If I'm not mistaken, there were these two whales they seen um seen them attack a great white. Attack a great white shark. Mind you, they didn't just attack it. They didn't just rip it to pieces and tear it to shreds. Nah, 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 nah. They went to a specific spot on that shark where his liver was. Because that that the liver of the shark has enough nutrients and enough fat to fuel them for, for days. It's enough, it's enough fuel. So they don't they don't really care about the whole, they want that liver. So they will go specifically that they're smart. These are like these are like dolphins 2.0. You feel me? Dolphins 2.0. They 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 come in and they gonna get exactly what they want, how they want it, boom. Puncture you right, they're gonna bite right where the liver at. I didn't squeeze it out, get that John's, and they gone. They bought their business. Killer whales don't play. Killer whales ain't scared of great whites, but but great whites are. They had this, they had this one, they had this uh this one research they was doing, research study they was doing where they had them plug like 17 sharks with GPS and they was off in some area of the ocean, right? And then um one of the sharks had them disappear off the map, but they realized that what had happened was it was, a, it was, it was an orca pulled up in the, in around that area, right? <laughs> the same seven, this other 16 sharks, gone. Didn't come back for a whole year. They did not come back to that area of the ocean for a whole year because the orca showed up. He only ate one of them. They ain't, they, they, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. That's why it was telling me. You're not gonna get the chance to eat me, buddy. We out. Why? How, how you? But you, but you, big dog though. You big stepper. You the king. You the, you the king of the. Oh nah, bro. You, 
when you get somebody that got that other mindset, you, got, you see somebody that got that real hunger, that got tactics, that got plans, that moves strategically. It's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. Remember, just like them lions, they don't they don't just go into it, just go into it. Nah, they have they have a, they have a standard, they have a set plan. They got position set up, they got people set up. They they mastermind the situation. You can fool a shark by just throwing some some, some carpet in the in the water and making it look like a seal, and they coming to it. Sprinkle a little blood in there, and they they come. You can't fool a killer whale like that. So go go into go into yourself, go into your dominions and ask yourself, what type of predator am I? Don't even sit up there and try to think about oh what what no, what type of predator are you gonna be? You going you got you got three choices. You got you gonna be a lion, you're gonna be an eagle, or you're gonna be a damn orca. I don't know if this animal's out in space. So we ain't gonna go down. But make sure that you hold yourself up here in esteem and value and confidence and knowing that whenever you step into that room your head's gonna turn knowing that when you when you when you when you when you grace these people with your presence they go they gonna value you they gonna miss you when you go don't come into this space half stepping lollygagging because somebody gonna turn you into prey don't ever get comfortable in whatever position you in c10 c25 so don't ever get comfortable Nano said he had 900 people where he was at, but he didn't have the proper plans in place. He didn't have the proper people with him. He didn't have the right, right, right people with purpose with him. See what I'm saying? And drop right back down to 200. All right, I heard it. So I need to listen to you. I need to, I need to make sure that I need to ensure that I don't make the same mistakes, right? We can, we can live, we can, mistakes are necessary. We all gotta make mistakes in order to grow. But I'm going to limit my mistakes by watching and being observant, by laying low in the grass and seeing everything that's going on. So that when I do pop out, it's a tactical, it's a tactical movement. Everything is strategic. Oh, how is it like? Oh, no, no, no. Y'all got to understand. I've been planning on being a rapper for like six years now. I got my archive set up on how I wanted to it come out. Half of this, half of the content that I'm putting out right now has been three years. It's three years old content. Some of the stuff I'm writing now, I don't plan on putting out for another two years. It's a plan. It's a strategy. You gotta move with that so that everything is calculated. We, it, remember what, 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 what did we say on the uh, call yesterday about planning, planning for the future, like change. You gotta be the change. And the only way to be the change is to dictate everything that go around, that go on around you. You got. You need to be in every, every, everywhere that where some respect needs to be given. The power is in play. Be there. I don't know if y'all ever seen Game of Thrones. Um, I can't even remember buddy name. Damn. Buddy ain't have a penis. Forgot what they called him. But he, he was a eunuch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if y'all ever seen seen Game of Thrones. If y'all did, this is for y'all. There was a eunuch, right? But he was a type of individual. He wasn't king. He wasn't king's son. He, he was just a person that had power and influence. And he moved behind the scenes. He had, he, had, he, he had little birdies that handled things for him. So everything that was going on, he was impacting every situation without people ever really knowing. He was moving through, he was moving through the scenes and through the darkness. And, and, and impact. Power. You ain't got to be the top dog. You ain't got it, but you the top dog. They're gonna have to put respect on your name because without without him, there's a lot of things that wouldn't have been able to happen. Without him, the, the, the kingdom probably would have fell a lot sooner. Right? So make sure that when you when you when you approach any situation, when you're looking at these charts, when you're looking at these graphs, don't you dare for a second in your mind doubt that you can't do it. Why? How are you gonna doubt you can't do it if you got it in front of you? This, this, man, it's only what? A couple hundred thousand of us in this, in any? You know how many people out there in the world? If this wasn't meant for you, you wouldn't be here, bro. If this was not meant for you to be here and know this and learn this and utilize this to, your, to the utmost potential, you would not be here. So don't, don't, don't get on the charts looking at like, oh, I don't understand. Nah, it's easy. 
It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, bro. It's clockwork. It's time for you to notice like the back of your hand because we got bigger and better things to do. We don't got time to be struggling on the charts now. Results need to be coming in like this. Everybody process different, but yo, I'm, I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm tired. I'm tired because I do exactly what I'm telling my I'm telling y'all not to do. I do it. I look at the charts, knowing knowing that I I, I know how to make calls. I know how to make money, but guess what? Guess who? Guess who ended up fighting me? Me. It's tiring. So why, why when you got the choice every day to 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 implement a system, implement plans, implement tactics, utilize your resources, knowing your value, building confidence, building structure. Embracing the opportunity. How 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 am I still fighting these battles? How am I still second guessing my my presence in this space? Knowing what I've done thus far, knowing the value that I've brought thus far, knowing how what value I can bring. Why am I still past stepping? It's time to change something. It's time to change. It's time because it's too many. It's too many lives that we got to impact. We, we, we picked up some good momentum. There was like a, there was a, there was a flash of just really quick and then it quelled. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. We, we got the ball rolling. This new wave, this gems of the six, this opulence, and every other team that's connected to it henceforth, we got too much. We got too much value. We got too much. We got too much happening. It's, 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 it's six months in, bro. Six months in, six months into 2020, bro. Yo, when I tell y'all I had I had a bag at the beginning of the year, I, yo, I done blew a good like three bands in this bitch. Excuse my language. Professional depositor. Yes, sir. That's me. I made a couple withdrawals. Not gonna cap. Not gonna cap. I made a few, but professional depositor. I'm tired. I, I, I don't I don't want this no more. And guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna be honest about. It. Even though I, as, as a leader, you don't have to do everything. You need to know the people who know how to do it. Plug the people in the right positions. Plug in with the right people. If I don't got answers, I'm calling Nick. What are we doing with these charts? How do I need to look at this uh, market? Okay, I'm not understanding some reason. What are we doing? What's happening? Hey, yo, Mel, you think you... Mastermind. Hey, yo, Christian, bro, what, what, what's up with these calls? You make... Bet. Money, 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 man. Get ask me. <laughs> he ain't got to be everywhere, but utilize your resources. Know what you're here for. Know what you're here to do. Stop high stepping. Stop letting. Stop letting. Stop letting you get the best of you. Because before anybody else ever get the chance to downgrade you or downplay you, you did it first. So how you, how the hell are you gonna be mad about what the world think about you? What your family think about you? Or what the people in this space gonna think about you? You done already judged yourself. Handle that, bro. That's on you. Handle that. I can't help you with that. Y'all can't help me with me. As, as many times as I can get on the phone with this person, that person, and say, man, I'm having a bad day. At the end of that day, I gotta sleep with my thoughts. I gotta wake up in them first 15 minutes is me talking to me. So what we gonna do about it? It's time for results. It's time for that. Now, I ain't saying you got to shift the paradigm and you got to be the perfect individual and you got to become Jesus overnight. But nah, decisions have to be made. Not choices, decisions. Not good decisions, not great decisions. Kingly decisions, godly decisions. Move like move like you got value that nobody else got. Make, make decisions in your head that, that you're not going to back down from. So you don't got to second guess when everything, when everything starts falling apart. Why? Because you know what decision you just made. I made a decision to come into this business and bring value. Don't let yourself, don't, don't let yourself shake yourself, man. We need it. We need everybody running on 10 toes. We only, we only going to be as strong as his weakest link, believe it or not. You can have five, six runners. But if you got a weak leg, you're not finna hit the next rank. And the reason you got a weak leg is cause that leg got some weak people in it. So I got some work to do. I do. I do, cause I'm 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 hurting my org right now. I am. 
And that's just being transparent. I'm inactive. I got to wait till payday. I don't know what's going on with my downline. Half, don't care, make a little piece. I, I don't have enough in me to, to help somebody else's problems right now. I got to fix me. So that's, that's why I'm on this call, bringing my value, talking this talk, because I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Just what, just a quick gem. My rap name is Project with a D in the middle because the D is representative of the source, represents the source, but Project is just about being in progress. A lot of people look to me as someone who has a lot of answers, someone who has a lot of intellect, someone who's, who makes a lot of great decisions. And then I'm looking at my life like, bro, if only y'all knew. I didn't ask, I didn't. Where I'm at right now, bro, it eats me. Think I wanted to be here? Nah, I'm in progress though. I, I guess I'm guessing this is my testimony, right? This 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 is what you need me to talk about whenever. Okay, I got you. Cause why else? I, I shouldn't I shouldn't I shouldn't be like this. I shouldn't be here. A lot of us a lot of us tend to be and and and, and I'm gonna tell y'all a lot of us aren't even ignorant. Ignorance is ignorance is bliss. And ignorance is almost it's, it's it's not it's not great. But you know what's worse than being ignorant is being a fool. Being a fool is having the knowledge of what to do, understanding what to do, but you're not wise. Ooh, I didn't mean to flick y'all off. <laughs> you don't have wisdom. Wisdom is the application of the knowledge and the understanding. Having the knowledge and the understanding and then choosing to make the wrong decision, that is worse than being ignorant. It's one thing to not know. I didn't know about Forex. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, hey. But now that I know about it, now that I've gotten the knowledge of it, now that I got the understanding of it, so I'm not gonna utilize it to its full potential, I'm gonna second guess it. I'm finna, I'm finna lead the space because it ain't working out how I wanted to work out. I'll be the biggest fool in history, boy. To sleep on to sleep on this the seed of the seed of potential that's sitting right here. Y'all don't want to live a life of foolery, man. That time foolery gotta get ghosts. There's, there's so much, there's so much happening right now. And believe it or not, a lot of us have had to grow up quicker than we wanted to grow up. A lot of us have had to experience things that that we wish we wouldn't have had to experience. We question it every day. Why did this happen to me? Why me? What do I attract? Why did I? If you stay there, we're not going there. Take that, take that pain, take that hurt, take them losses. And get ready to give it to somebody. We put on this earth to not only give love, but to just give in general. Cause nothing, nothing on this earth that we have, we finna keep. Nothing on this earth that we creating, we gonna be able to take with us, bro. So what you think we doing this for? If you really think you doing this just for you, you, you out of your rabbit ass mind. It's time for you to recognize that you got exit. You got thousands of people waiting to hear this. You got thousands of people. They don't even know they need you right now. They need you. There's a school of girls out there and orphans out there that, that need your story, dog. They need to know that you didn't have it all together. They need to know that you wasn't perfect from the get-go. They need to know that you went through every trial and tribulation. They need to know you lost yourself a thousand times. They need to know that you got back up every time. It's a, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a hood of little boys out there that need to know that you, you didn't know how to be a man growing up because you ain't have a dad like that. How did you get your manhood so, so, so raw? Somebody needs it. Somebody needs your story. There's no point in you sitting here man, crying and, and complaining about what has happened because that's, it was, if it happened, at the end of the day, if it happened and if it's happening, it was meant to happen. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It was meant to happen. You cannot change that. You cannot change shit. Excuse my language, yo. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm passionate. That's, it's, 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 nothing, it's nothing to it. That's it. That's it. You, you flip that page, and that, that page has already been flipped. The next page is empty. What are you about to write? All right, for the first, for the first 18, 20 years of our lives, we weren't we want too much in control. We had to go with what our parents were doing. We, we, this person did this and this person did that. This, yo, it's your turn to write your story. You take the pen and you take that pen and you put it in the paper. 
journalism, journaling, hello, writing down your thoughts. You create your story. Don't matter how, how extravagant it is, because it's yours. Don't settle for less. Don't, don't, don't bring people into this business that's going to make you settle for less. Don't involve yourself with people around in your environment that's going to make you settle for less. I just seen, I just seen my friend of, 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 of almost eight years, and I tried to put him onto the business about a year ago. Matter of fact, when I first started, me and him were in the same mindset. We're in the same business-oriented mindset. And Nano said something on his call that triggered that thought today. He said, you probably got friends. He said, winners and losers both have the same goals. Y'all tell me what the difference is. What reset system, right? The plan, right? We all got the same goals. Everybody want to be rich. Everybody want the bag. Everybody want the Gucci. Everybody want the baddest little bras in the city. Where's the system at? How you going to get it? What you going to do? Ask yourself, where's that beast at? If they ain't praying for you, they praying on you. Where's your beast at? When you look in that mirror and you look into yourself, ask yourself, where's that beast at? Because don't nobody respect no lamb, I promise you. We eat those. We slaughter those. Don't nobody respect the follower. Nobody want, nobody's going to go to the, to the follower section and start pressing, no, we don't like followers. We're, for what? So tap in. Tap into your greatness. Tap into everything that you know you can be. Everything that you're not showing us. Tap in. Get right. We need it. We need you. And everything you come with, your results, we need it. We need to edify that. We need to post that on social media. Your story, we need to hear it. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to make my, my spine tingle. It's going to make me cry. It's going to make me become more passionate about what I'm doing because I really recognize that, yo, it's not just me. I'm not the only one with problems. I'm not the only one that had to go through something in life. Where your beast at? With that being said, y'all, I'm out. Y'all already know how I, how I move. I say less. Stay blessed. I know y'all probably getting tired of seeing me, but all in due time. You feel me? So... Much love to everybody that stayed on this call, that joined the call, that's picking up what we're putting down, the consistent faces that we're seeing. We loved it. We love you. I love y'all. Y'all already know what it is. That being said, salute. And it's awkward time until I can mute myself and turn off the camera. Bruh.